Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another very easy 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in a Limb Hunter. This was developed and published by Flying Island's team and at the time of this recording, Price says, I don't know. But one would assume it's going to be roughly around the £4 slash $5 mark again. So, we play as Mr L Hunter, real name, Limb Hunter. Man, his parents mustn't have liked him to have named him Lim. Um, anyway, as it usually is, we have to save the world by gunning down enemies, etc. It's all... I mean, you've done this stuff before, although this genuinely did get rather addictive, if I'm honest. I actually did really enjoy this one. Um, now, achievements-wise, we only have to literally play the first tutorial level and the first level, but we don't even actually have to finish the first level. Now, a lot of the achievements are story-related, but we need to end up grabbing 500 coins, killing 10 enemies... Um, upgrade and find the workers base, but it's all easy and once again can be done within less than 10 minutes Nice Also because flying islands are flying islands. We're going to expect some DLC and another easy 1k to add in the future So like I said, this is going to take us around 10 minutes or so And with that being said then let us begin so you know how to start a new game in games by now you press the A button so congratulations so, this is basically Terminator, because here comes Terminator, and we're going to basically become Arnie through all of this, which, uh, hey, I'll take being Arnie. I'd rather be a 70-year-old Arnold Schwarzenegger with a body like that than the flabby-ass thing that I do now. Anyway, when we wake up, press the left stick to move and the A button to jump. Um, but when we uh, see here, press the right bumper to pick up the trash gun. Don't worry, it's not actually full of trash, it's a pretty decent gun. Press... And hold the A button to jump and you'll jump higher. Plus, pressing it twice will make you double jump. A uh, bunch of coins we will collect. Pick up the hook with the right bumper here. And this is the service station. Now, every time you go past one of these, it'll save the game. When you press the right bumper to go into it, as you can see, you can press the right bumper and left bumper to go and sort of collect upgrades and stuff. So what we're going to do is just unlock the first couples there. So the head on the left, then the torso. So you just press the A button twice. First to unlock it, and then the next time to equip it. Then when you go over, do the same with the legs, and then do the same with the weapon. So the first four, you should be unlocking everything. And here, you can either choose the hook or the gun. Now the hook just, um, I mean it's a hook. You hook the weapons, you hook, hook your hook at people. That's pretty much it. But we're going to go with the trash gun. Press um, up and down on the D-pad, by the way, to go places. Then, when you press the A button on the trash gun a couple of times, you can press the right trigger as many times as you want. Um, it's basically infinite ammo, but it does need a cooldown period. We're going to come up to our first enemy, the hook enemy. So, as you see, as soon as there's an exclamation mark above the head, either jump up or move to the left slightly. Um, to avoid that, because those hooks hurt. You've got a HP counter in the bottom left-hand corner, by the way. Right, um, that green goo, that hurts you, but it doesn't actually kill you off, so obviously we'll try not to do that. You can look down as well with the left stick, so we can jump down. Immediately spam the right trigger, and as soon as you see the exclamation mark above his head, move. Now, sometimes now and again, they're going to drop new heads and new torsos and things like that. Uh, but we really only need it to buy one thing. So as you can see, I've got uh, enough coins actually to buy a load of head, which is what we need for another achievement. But we're not going to buy it just yet. We're just going to carry on. Again, this is all a completely linear path. So we have done the first tutorial level. Now we are into the next one. Uh, they're not enemies, so we can just ignore them. Keep going. Don't jump down because the sign says death equals down, as we can see. So no death for us today. No thank you. Bye bye. Right, now we've got enemies that will shoot at you, so, you know, obviously, just be a little bit careful. There we go. And remember to be picking up coins um, every time. We need 500 coins in our inventory. Um, now, every time you die, you will actually lose coins. As you'll be able to see, I do get cocky and I do keep it in. Um, so, what we can do... This bit's easy. Again, as soon as, soon as you can jump down, just spam the right trigger. And you should have just enough... In order to kill them before they kill you. So, and uh, we're going to get another achievement here. This is basically unmissable as well. Just press the right bumper on the treasure chest. That's going to get us the treasure achievement. Now we can just jump down. Spam, spam, spam. There you did. 
Now, as you can see, I'm on 445 um, bits of treasure, and you're going to see just how much you can lose if you've got a lot of coins. And again, I keep it in because I do unlock an achievement pretty much straight away after. Uh, but yeah, I balls this boy up, didn't I? Oh! Man! Well, it wasn't this bit, but it was this bit. Imagine jumping into a bullet. So yeah, try not to jump into a bullet in real life as well. That shit hurts, man. That that hurts. <laughs> right. So anyway, because I obviously died, as you can see, I'm already down. I lost over 200 coins there, which was a bit of a son of a biscuit. But there we go. Um, but again, it's fine. It's easy enough. And as you can see, as you can tell, um, I'm going to unlock achievement here for killing 10 enemies. So again, doesn't matter how much you die, you will keep your enemy kill count as well, which is always nice. And it'll be the same then for. Uh, basically anything else. So if, if there's anything you collect, anything you do in this game, it basically saves even if you die, which is all good. So again, we've got just gone past this treasure chest. So this time, what we're not going to do. So I'm on 460 coins. Lovely. That's no problem. What we're going to do is go underneath to uh, save the game here with the service station, which, god damn, that's annoying. Now we've got over 250 coins, so we're just going to go and grab the load ahead right there. Again, press down on the D pad to go down to it. You can unlock that and equip it if you want, but that, uh, just buying the one upgrade there, uh, gets us the now we're talking, now we're talking achievement. Now we are talking. Right, so now what we have to do is collect the 500 coins and to grab the, uh, go to the workers base. So, keep going down this linear path again, there's nowhere else that we can really go for now. And again, if you wanted to grab the 500 coins before getting the upgrade, you can do that as well. But, it, I mean, it's very much easy enough. So instead of jumping on the platform here, jump down and we're going to kill these three enemies. So basically, if you jump up and go to the right, you can end the level. But the workers' base is on the bottom right-hand corner. Which I wouldn't steer wrong, would I? So, kill, kill, kill again. Also, if you are needing the um, enemy kill achievement or some more coins, you can actually go through a door, come back, and the... Uh, Enemies will respawn, but there is the 500 coins achievement. Time to boy. And that one's done. And then as soon as we go over to the right, this is where the workers' base is then. And this is the final achievement of the game so far. And I say so far because we are expecting some DLC. Maybe one, maybe two, but definitely at least one. So... There we go then, guys and gals. It's a very, very, another very, very easy one from Flying Islands team. So thank you to uh, Flying Islands team there for providing me the code in which to bring you this guide. Um, big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel. If you found this game and guide useful and helpful, don't forget, of course, to like, comment and subscribe. Share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Can't remember if I actually just said that, but still, thank you. And thank you to everyone who interacts with me on the daily. And here we go then, guys and gals. So that's another easy one done. But I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, big love.